The first, for the first time, you know, for a sub 1500 euro price point, you get that absolutely fantastic looking high grade uh, quality image uh, from the skies. Who doesn't love talking about drones? Hi, Martin, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. I have you. Martin Renberg here. He is the managing director of DJI EMEA, and we're here at the DJI booth. This is very so exciting. Very welcome to you, thank you. You know, with all the talk about what drones can do these days, we're talking about two models in particular, yes. the Mavic 2 Zoom yes. and the Mavic 2 Pro. That's right. With the Zoom, apparently, we're turning you know, drone videography of the past mm -hmm. to drone cinematography right. of the future. Anybody can be a filmmaker these days. How can people get that famous dolly shot zoom effect? You know, DJI is all about making very complex technology accessible for everybody. So my simple answer is at a touch of a button. So the dolly zoom effect is, is, is one of our pre-programmed flight paths uh, for the new Mavic 2. And basically all you need to do is you focus on the subject or object you want to, uh, you want to frame. And then at a touch of a button, it will create that famous dolly zoom effect that we all know and love from you know, old Hitchcock movies and so forth, completely automatically. So even a novice can do this very specific and very you know, artistic look. Speaking of novice, I have a friend who wanted the zoom effect. So he, uh, he put a string on a chair. Right. He started filming himself and he was pulling the chair in <laughs> one step at a time. You know, you fake it till you make it, but now exactly. you can do this effect with That's a touch right. of a button. That's amazing. What about the Mavic 2 Pro? Now, there's something very special about the camera because yes. it's a product of a collaboration. Tell us more about that. That's exactly right. So um, this, is, this is the zoom camera that we talked about. Um, and the big difference between the zoom uh, and the Pro is that we added a fantastic high-grade Hasselblad camera with a one-inch sensor. So really for the first time we're giving everybody from the novice to a prosumer to a professional the opportunity to have a, you know, a high-end high grade camera in a, in a very small package. So this is a camera that was, um, was co-developed with Hasselblad which to the viewers that may, may not be familiar with the, with, the, with the brand, this was actually the camera that took the famous shot on the moon. So the you know, foreground moon, background the, the earth. Um, so this is a, a, a camera manufacturer um, you know, that is, certainly has been leading the high-end photography for a long time. And DJI and Hasselblad have collaborated to bring this fantastic you know, artistic photography uh, into the hands of everybody. For someone who may already have a Mavic, what are some very compelling reasons for them to upgrade? Right. So first of all, we want to thank every customer who has, who has chosen a Mavic Pro in the past. Uh, what we've done, first of all, is we upgraded the camera. So we're talking a real professional grade camera here on the, on the Mavic 2 uh, that can take 20 megapixel stills from the air um, and can take 4K 10-bit uh, 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 video uh, from the skies. So that is probably for the professional and, and semi-professional and even amateur uh, photographers the most compelling reason. The first, for the first time, you know, for a sub-1500 euro price point, you get that absolutely fantastic looking high-grade uh, quality image uh, from the skies. And then what we've done is, I talked about, you know, we, we try to democratize technology, make very complex things very simple. Um, what we've done is uh, we upgraded um, our uh, advanced pilot assistance system. So essentially, we added a lot of sensors around the drone. So for the first time, we can really talk about a 360 uh, you know, shield around the drone. So as you can see, we have stereo vision cameras in the front, uh, down on the bottom, in the back, and we have cameras also on the sides and an infrared sensor on the top. Basically what that does in real time scans the environment. So the drone will not only know where it is, where it came from, but also scans the environment. So even if you, for whatever reason, fly towards an object or a subject, it will stop automatically. You know, biggest improvement, uh, because of the artificial intelligence that we built inside the drone, it will actually pre, uh, you know, fly uh, a flight path 
around a subject. So it won't just stop, it will try to automatically calculate a better route. This drone will actually help you make better flying decisions. So drones are getting smarter, the designs Absolutely. are getting better. That's right. You touch upon AI. How else do you think AI will play into drone technology in the future? Right. What we've, we've done with the, with the Mavic 2 is we added a lot of pre-programmed flight paths. Um, so you, you can choose an object, for instance, you know, a tower, a bridge, or whatever it might be, on the screen, you touch that, and it will automatically, if you wish to do so, a 360 perfect shot, which takes you know, a lot of effort if you do it manually. So that's just, just, that's just one uh, example. On the zoom version, for instance, we talked about the dolly zoom effect, that's just a touch of a button away. So those are you know, just two little examples of what artificial intelligence can do in the drone. It will make decisions for you and will, will really guide and help and support the, the, the pilot uh, in, in getting the perfect shot. What about design? Because right now, you know, does, you see a drone, you're like, that's a drone. Yes. There's not much differentiators between right. the design of drones. Are you guys thinking about, you know, evolving into different designs? That's a good question. I think we have already. Uh, when, you, when you think back uh, about the first real consumer uh, ready-to-fly drone that we introduced to the market, the Phantom 1, we now call that an iconic shape because if you now search on the internet and you just put in drone and search for drone, you're most likely going to find a picture of the, of the Phantom. Yeah. Um, but equally over time, you know, as I said, we, we challenge the status quo and we also like to develop further. Um, and don't forget, DJI is only 12 years young. Yeah. Um, you know, when you, when you look at other industries that may have been around for 100 years or so, um, you know, we want to evolve and want, we want to challenge ourselves as well. So uh, the same goes for design, uh, the same goes for, um, you know, the, the technology, the accessibility, uh, and ultimately the customer experience. So, you know, five years ago, the Phantom 1 may have been the perfect shape. Uh, at the moment, the Mavic 2 may be the perfect shape and uh, maybe in the future is going to develop. Um, but I think we're getting uh, very close to giving every product category a specific uh, face, you know, specific shape. When you think about the Spark, which was our very first, uh, you know, entry-level smart drone that was accessible for everybody, the new Mavic Air, which we just launched in January, and now the Mavic 2. As you can see, they, they're dis they have a very distinct design. But when you look at the Mavic Pro and the Mavic 2, you, you see the same design clues because we know it works and obviously we want people to recognize DJI and we want to make sure that they connect the DJI brand to the DJI product. So if you look at the Mavic Pro and the Mavic 2, you see the similarities. Last year some of the buzzwords were foldable drone, yes. drones, underwater drones. What are some buzzwords this year? Uh, I think autonomy, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, camera quality, uh, it's, it's certainly ease of use uh, and ultimately you know, our goal is to, to put these, these amazing tools in the, in the hand of everybody. We want to make this accessible for everybody. So accessibility is probably another buzzword uh, that we want to make sure that people really get to try uh, you know, and get their hands on, the, on, the, on, this creative, on these creative tools. And let's say 10 years from now, how do you think humans will integrate drone technology into their daily lives? We'll see. Um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> again, it's hard to predict the future. I think for, that goes for any of us. Um, when, when I take the drone t uh, technology in the drone industry as an example, again, five years ago, we introduced the first, or just about five years ago, we introduced the Phantom 1. Um, now we, we're talking about a Mavic 2. Th that's light years uh, you know, in development. Um, I think what we're going to see within the drone industry, and I think that, that is going to touch everybody's lives, we're going to look beyond making great films and great photos. Uh, and this is a development that we've seen really kicked off about two years ago. Uh, we're looking into um, integrating uh, drones into the enterprise world, into commercial use cases. And let me just give you a, a few examples. Uh, when it comes to um, inspection services, for instance, when you look at you know, big power uh, 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 towers and, and uh, power lines, this is actually very manual labor and very dangerous. Um, so with drone technology, you can make it quicker, cheaper, and safer. Um, when it comes to um, uh, first responders, so police, firefighters, um, or even 
you know, uh, uh, overseeing beaches. Um, drones can help save lives. Uh, and this is very close to our heart. We really want to make sure that people see the benefits, not just because they can take great photos, but also they can support, you know, um, governments, they can support police and firefighters. Um, so there's a lot of developments, and I think this is where you're going to see more and more drones in the daily life. Well, I, I love how you went to safety and rescuing, and I, in my mind I'm thinking, when I wake up, my drone will automatically lift the covers off of me, and then it'll make my coffee, and then it'll deliver my coffee to me. <laughs> I'm just a little bit more selfish when it comes to that, but you know, a girl can dream, right? Absolutely. Yeah, keep dreaming. Thank you so much, Martin. I do appreciate what DJI brings to the table. Not only excitement of what we see here at IFA, but also when you say you listen to your customers, that's exactly it. We want products that are built for us, and that's exactly what you guys are doing. So thank you for much, so much for showing us the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Pro. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. Thank you.